welcome to Creativity. I'm your girl C. Today's DIY was inspired by Beyonce's Blackest King and as you can tell, it was inspired by one of the many crystal slash diamond head pieces that she wore in the movie. For us today, of course, it will be rhinestones because we don't have that Beyonce money. Before I settled on the design we're gonna do today, I initially started on different styles and the first one had potential but ended up looking like an alien face hugger. Epic fail. The second one became a bit more complicated because it would have required a lot of cup chain connectors and I wanted to create something that my viewers can make at home as well. And so that's why I settled on this third style. Okay, let's get started. Sailor Goon, hit that beat! I have 24 inches of rhinestone trim with a chain on the back as well as a rhinestone cup chain that is about 5 continuous yards. You can get both at your local fabric stores. I highly recommend a foam head but you can do this without one. I'm gonna start by pinning the first section in front of the head and then work my way around. The circumference is about 13 inches. The center seam will be 6 inches. Oh, isn't that a beautiful rat tail? A blinged out 5 inch one. That my trim is in place, I'm gonna see where the rhinestone cup chain is gonna start off. With the use of tape, I'm gonna make markings to determine the starting points on both sides of the seam. You can also count the stones to make sure that you're equal distance from the center seam. I've already determined I wanted 12 inch long rhinestones, so I'm going to make markings along the 5 yards that I have and then afterwards I'm going to cut them up. This particular length will hit you right at the shoulders or slightly below. I'm gonna actually be using jewelry wire, but if you don't have that, floral wire works just as nicely. Make sure to use 22 gauge wire. Using 1 inch wire pieces, loop it around the rhinestone head once and then attach it to the trim. You have reached 1-800 by a boyfriend. How can I help you today? I was able to determine the length between the two points and it was 9 inches. This will factor in the spacing between each attachment. The spacing between each attachment is about half an inch. Body made of flesh, milk, and bones. Have you ever thought about wasting me? We're out counting down time to replace what we lost and begin again. 
pliers can be used to clamp down any loose wire. I'm going to remove this from the mannequin head and then map out where I'm going to place each rhinestone attachment. It's going to be a few strands of extra rhinestones, just set those aside and now we're going to just attach the rhinestones to the trim. Surface announcement for all you humans out there. Always check the shelf life because nothing lasts forever. That tape indicates where the rat tail will be attached. There will be two rhinestones, one on each side of the rat tail that will be spaced relatively closer to it. Every street light that I pass, every day that passes by without no grass, I overthink to myself. Can't seem to knock you off this shelf, no. 13 night in a row. After, I'm gonna attach it back on the mannequin, see how it sits on the crown of the head. You left a few whispers on my pillow. My body belongs to the sea. Sinking thoughts of you. So basically, there's supposed to be seven strands of rhinestones on each side. I'm going to remove the pin and then attach the beginning of the trim to the front of the center seam. You have reached 1-800 by a boyfriend. How can I help you today? So I'm going to check for loose ends and secure all the wires. That's a wrap, we're done! Isn't she a beaut? A girlfriend once told me you can never have too much bling. I would beg to differ, but in this case, this is really pretty. Bride could actually wear this besides a tiara or a veil. That is a good idea, right? Please let me know if you did this project, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I would really appreciate it if you, you know, hit that like button and or leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next DIY, goodbye!